it's funny because of the time differences between the UK and the US I was too tired to do a post fight video it must have been about 15 minutes past 5am over here after I finished watching Hank Lundy take apart basically Angelo Santana now Hank Lundy is a friend to me and Errol Jarrett he's a friend to the Boxing Beats and Rhymes 10 thing on YouTube and hopefully we're going to get a post fight interview with him he's the main reason I stayed up to watch this Showtime bill and I actually studied his opponent Angelo Santana beforehand I watched a couple of his KOs and then I watched the fight where he was defeated his only loss Bahadir Mama Dijunov can't pronounce it he's from Uzbekistan and he stopped Santana in nine Santana is a Don King promoted fighter and, and although Don's getting old he's not going to mess with no total Muppet you know what I mean? He's not going to have no muck who can't represent himself on Showtime. You know? Angelo Santana is basically a power puncher. 11 KOs, 14 victories, 15 fights, 1 loss. So what I posted up on my Facebook wall in the YTBC group is Hank has to box this guy. Show him angles, work him to the body and wear him down. Now, I'm not going to say I'm clairvoyant or a genius, but I watch a lot of boxing, so I should be able to deduct simple equations by watching enough film of both fighters. And that's exactly what Hank did. Showed him angles, boxed him, the body shots. If you watch the fight, you can see his hands dropping by his waist because the body shots were troubling him. And I saw the body shots were troubling him when he fought the guy from Uzbekistan. And I had no doubt that Hank could follow a similar blueprint and do a job in this guy. It was a 10 rounder and considering that Hank moved up from ESPN to Showtime on the strength of him defeating the Lusigan, it was a significant bout at 140. The winner was going to propel himself if not right into the middle of the mix but on the fringes of the mix with the Garcias, the Petersons, the Provodnikovs, etc, etc. So Hank couldn't stop the guy but he was a power puncher and I was just basing it off the task in hand as I viewed it. Hank won by scores of 98-91 on all three cards, I believe. And he dominated, he dominated. He scored a knockdown late. Big right, sent my guy down. I actually thought Hank was taking too many risks at the time. There's me getting really technically into what he had to do against a power puncher. But sometimes I thought Hank was staying in the pocket too long and giving Santana his only opportunity that he had to get back in the fight and land a haymaker. But nonetheless, Hank took Santana's best shots. He took them. Resolutely. Didn't flinch. Didn't stagger. Wasn't hurt. Didn't back up or nothing. He was under no distress in the fight at all. Santana was getting winded, he was looking confused, he was looking at the canvas, the commentators were alluding to the fact that the grip on his shoes might be troubling him, because everything was going wrong for him in there. Hank's experience and technical and natural ability was just too much for the guy, just too much for the guy. There's no point in going into details of what, of what, of what, jab, footwork, hand speed and even punch power in the end were all advantages in Hank's favour so there's no point going through what Hank did technically in this and that he won soundly I was speaking to Chris Gaban after on Skype couldn't find her and I was celebrating Hank's win thinking yeah the boy done well you know you know what I mean Hank did his thing Hank did his thing you beat the brakes off this boy you look good that's how you fight a big puncher and then this morning, I ran into Fair Shake Boxing's video. Hank Lundy versus Angelo Santana. What the fuck, Hank? Is what he titled the video. And the only reason I'm doing this video is because I value this guy's opinion. He doesn't post up much, but when he does, it's always honest, it's always earnest, and it's coming from a boxer's perspective as well. And I'm not saying because he's a boxer, that's a prerequisite 
for me to listen to everything he says. But I know when I listen to Fair Shake talk, he's going to come from a knowledgeable, honest perspective. No fanboy shit or none of that. Just honest and real. Fair Shake said, What the fuck, Hank? In the title of the video. And I played this video, and Fair Shake was saying, Well, Hank disappointed because this guy was a novice. Hank should have been able to do what he wants with this guy. He should have been able to stop him in four or five rounds. And at first I'm thinking, nah, man, this was a good win. This was a good win. But the truth is, the guy, in hindsight, admittedly in hindsight, Angelo Santana is nothing more than a novice. That's the truth of it. He's obviously fed on the carcasses of 13 stiffs before he fought the guy from Uzbekistan and got defeated. He is a novice, he is a novice. I don't want to take away from Hank's performance, but he was a novice. But he was a power puncher, and that's why I was celebrating what Hank did. It was a high profile fight, but I didn't look at it from the perspective that Fair Shake did. And I think Fair Shake has seen Lundy fight more than I have. What fights have I seen with Lundy? I've seen this one, Lusigan. I saw the Beltran fight, I saw the John Molina fight. But I think Fair Shake's been there for most of the career. And he probably knows what he can do more than what I do. So I'm left wondering, should he have really stopped this guy? Because when I think back now, this guy ran out of ideas in the fight. He had his hands by his waist. He was dropping his hands when the body shots were clearly troubling him. And he was gassing. It wasn't because he was trying to be flash. You know, this is what he'd done against the guy from Uzbekistan. He wasn't trying to be flesh. He was hurt. He was winded. He was confused. And he seemed to be trying to say that his footing wasn't right with his boots. I didn't really buy into that either. I thought he was just looking for a reason to bail out of there. That's what impression I was getting. And to a degree, Fair Shake is right. I still think it was a good performance by Lundy. Don't get me wrong. I still do. But how are you going to peak anyone's radar when you can't get rid of Angelo Santana? How are you going to do that? That is a good question. Is outpointing a guy with no recognizable names, just a whole load of chaos over people we don't know, is just merely outpointing him enough? Is that enough? Should Lundy have stepped on the gas a little more, in hindsight, to sell himself? Because, in my opinion, Lundy was hitting this guy with cleaner shots in the early rounds and the middle rounds. He was hitting him with cleaner shots than the guy who stopped him. Who did put his foot on the gas in the late rounds. And he really went for it. And he was boxing more cautiously in the earlier rounds than Lundy was, in my opinion. The guy from Uzbekistan. And he stopped him. And he really went for it. He tried to emphasize the point of his dominance on that fight. It actually changed the complexion of what I was going to say in my post-fight video when I heard what Fair Shake had to say. It actually made me reflect. It actually made me reflect. But, you know, I'm going to run with it for now. It was a good technical performance by Lundy against a guy with a whole load of chaos. And... My initial thoughts and my primary thoughts, which is what I'm going to run with, I respect Fair Shake's opinion, but I'm still going to run with my initial thoughts that this was a good performance against a dangerous guy, a big puncher, even though his power was unproven at the top level. He deconstructed a big puncher and he ticked all the boxes that I said he needed to tick beforehand on Facebook. All the boxes. Box him, give him angles. Body shots, wear him down. So I was satisfied with it. And I still am, I still am, I still am. Perhaps in hindsight I should have gave Lundy another box to tick and that he needs to impress on the big stage. Lundy was competent in there. He was competent and he moves on. You can't knock a W. The W always comes first, no matter what. But on a stage like Showtime, stopping a guy like this in five rounds should have been a distinct possibility in hindsight. Fair Shake is right. Beforehand, 
Hank was talking very loud about what he was going to do to the guy. Said a few things to Don King and, you know. I suppose when you do talk like that, we expect a few more explosions. Especially at the, the level of opponent he was fighting. Especially because of that factor. Peace. 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 Peace.